Welcome, welcome, welcome to the General Hospital Admittedly Fans podcast. Thank you for joining us twice a month to talk about all things General Hospital. If you like what you hear, share the show and encourage lapsed and current GH fans to listen on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you enjoy your podcasts. Guys, it is August 1st, and we just had an episode of all episodes. Malin, I'm going to kick it right to you for the summary. I don't even know where to begin, but everything else that you've been watching for the past few weeks doesn't matter, <laughs> because today, the craziest thing happened. Not expecting not it. Expecting. Not, I don't no. think any of us, our listeners or us, were expecting no. it. But at the very end, Christina goes to confront Ava, who has subpoenaed her to testify in the custody trial. And they're fighting and having words. And Christina steps the wrong way. Like Ava goes to reach out for her. Okay. Ava reaches out. And Christina says, don't touch me. And goes flying out the window of the hotel, <laughs> crashing down into the pool with all the peeps watching in the pool. Joss and I had the same reaction. Both our mouths were open with a hand over yes. it. I was literally it was like, crazy. I might have well, I might as well have been at the Metro Court myself. My reaction mimicked all of that. Totally, it was it wild. Was wild. Just one amazing. One other thing, John Brennan. Kate's. Kate's. <laughs> Jagger. Jagger. John Kate's left his bag there in the room, and that's what Christina tripped over. Oh. oh I was yes. okay. I she did. What I want to know bag. is what kind of glass that's do they good. use at the Metro Court that it just so easily shatters like that? I don't know. <laughs> easily. She went flying, and clearly, clearly, Ava lives in the penthouse because it was, was a, a lot, lot of, of stories down. I think four. I think it was like four stories down. Of course, Ava lives in the penthouse. Uh, it looked high. It was crazy. And then it <laughs> rained glass into the pool. Yes. And they did go yes. as far as an underwater shot of yes. like blood on Christina's face. Her bloody and cut up. Yes. So now, will she live? Will the baby live? And what will happen? I None of us predicted this none. at all. I think no. the baby goes away. What? And Ava gets blamed. Please don't. A- Ava no. gets blamed, and then no, take that the custody bad. trial Easy. goes away. No, that's my- no. I think we have a pre- premature baby. She goes out. into labor. Yeah, you just wiped out five stories of ours in like one you theory. Can't wipe us out that way, G. <laughs> I think the baby goes away. The baby's that's not my production. going away. I think she has a premature baby. The baby's going to yeah. be in the NICU. Christina, I don't care. Ooh. I mean, she might die, but no, Christina's no. not. The baby's die. in the no, NICU. No, I love Christina. No, I agree with this. I think it's going to be. Crazy. I think the baby is okay. Two things can happen. Either one, because of this accent, it's going to just enforce how Christina, how much Christina is attached to this yeah. baby. And after this, right. there's no way she's letting it go. And yeah. it may be that she has to deliver early and in the NICU, and like that's it. She's the only one who could see the baby. Ooh. And obviously Ava gets blamed oh. because Ava was the one she was fighting with. And who was taking pictures? And someone was taking pictures of them. Oh, yeah. Brick. No, see, I think Brick is taking pictures of Kate. He's trying to... He I keeps- mean, the setup was on her apartment. And he oh. said, get as many pictures as you can in the Sunny previous Sunny as evidence. Yep. So they hooked up. So that's probably on there. Right. It's, it's quite a role of film to develop if you were at the local Walmart. <laughs> because you're going to get a lot of <laughs> Although it's likely digital. Jagger wasn't too bad coming out oh, of the God. shower today. Yeah. He- I think he's kind of hot. Oh, I think he's pretty terrible. It was really funny. Finally, Trina got to talk about someone other than Spencer. I thought it was great. <laughs> he scandalized Trina. She was in there when he came out in his towel, and she just couldn't handle it. Finally. I mean, she saw a lot of FBI. <laughs> She really couldn't handle it. I mean, she went running to Joss by the pool. I just saw something I shouldn't have seen. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Today was insane. That's all I can say. I was just going to say, I'm like watching it and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then like literally the last two minutes, I'm like, oh, this whole episode just got wiped from boring in the last two minutes to really good. Yeah. And it's only a Thursday. Shame. 
At the end of the scene, she calls someone, says, I've never needed you more. Who does she call? Oh, in the coming attractions, you mean? Maybe Scotty. I don't Scotty. know. Ava. Oh, it's definitely Scotty. I don't know who, though, she calls. Could be Nicholas yeah. in jail. I think it's Scotty. <laughs> the whole pool, everybody's there. Everyone saw it. Ava's in deep, deep trouble. Deep but she's never looked better she's been looking great i just was gonna say the same thing she looked so good though all right so that was our breaking top storyline let's talk about pikeman it pretty much all was revealed guys do you agree yeah it seems to be closing down that whole storyline yeah well the, the actual yeah. pikeman part she, of it. were you surprised anna put jason second they were working so closely no i wasn't surprised I kind of get it. Like in her mind, it was sort of a win-win for everybody. Yeah. But it, but it wasn't. She screwed Jason. She screwed I know. Jason. No, because I think Anna always sort of really always puts Anna first. Yeah, I felt bad for Jason Malin because it feels like he was a sucker for that. Well, he was a sucker but, to all of them, yeah. really. I don't know. I feel like this is really kind of off-brand for Jason. He's not usually a sucker in these situations. He usually finds a way out. I can understand Jason maybe giving her leeway for her to do what she needs to do. And I'm mad at her for taking advantage yeah. of it. No, I agree with the giving and the leeway. That actually, I felt, made sense to me. Not right that Jason couldn't get out, uh, out from under Kate's. Like, there was no way he was getting on that yeah. bus. That seemed ridiculous. Like he's usually smarter yeah. about that. That I was silly that. to me. I still think he's going to get whacked. Oh, I was just going to ask which one of you had the theory about that. Okay. I think that Jagger's getting killed. You do. And they're all going to mm. get blamed for his... Everybody hates that him. That is true. And he has no home. <laughs> yeah, and he's homeless. I hope not. He's homeless. Well, he's got a home with Ava. No, she kind of tossed him before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why his bag was just laying around there ready to get like picked up to go out. Do you think that Christina survives the fall? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I do too. But it might be a I situation do. where they they willowize her and stick her in the hospital for She can't be months. paralyzed because it's too soon <laughs> after the last paralysis. Was she paralyzed before? Curtis, poor Curtis. No, but yeah. Curtis yeah. was for like 2 years. <laughs> I think Christina's going to be kind of okay. I think it's more of yeah. like the baby, like it was a fall, but I don't think there's going to be any like issues. I right. think that's going to be the catalyst to the court. To dropping the court case, I think, between Sonny and Ava. No, not to dropping the court case for, I think it's going to lead to two court cases. Well, I think it's going to help Sonny in his child custody court case for against sure. Ava because there's no way Ava's winning anything now. And Christina can't. <laughs> Right. Hi. And then I the, the funniest expression on your face is like, did they hear that? We are all wearing earphones. We hear everything. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Okay, sorry guys. It yeah, it's my secret boyfriend. <laughs> it's it's actually it's Frisco Jones. He's not coming oh, back. He's, he's telling her he's on, coming back soon. He's gonna be on Melrose. He is, he's making an appearance. <laughs> I'm going to throw a theory out there. Christina ends up in a coma. The baby is born. She wakes up. I like it. Hasn't signed a legal agreement and fights for custody. That could be. Yeah. So she gets her vacation for like however long she sits in the bed. When she wakes up, she doesn't have any recollection. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Wow. Any recollection of offering her baby to Molly to begin with? <laughs> How'd that baby happen? Yeah, I could see something like that <laughs> happening, I guess. I can see something like that happening. You're not that bad today. <laughs> As opposed to one through 10, we're at episode 11. Malin, is Jason fully free? Yeah, he's free. Yes, he's free. And what happens with him? Does he go back to Sunny? Does he go, as I predicted, on the straight and narrow? No, and no. Go legit and Definitely not. raise his son. No, he has to be a bad guy. No. Jason's a bad guy. He with a heart of gold. He leads. Well, I don't know if he leads, but he gets on the bandwagon. <laughs> they figure out the meds, and in the interim, Jason takes over for Sunny. But ultimately, it will all settle probably in like a year from now. <laughs> <laughs> Does John stick around and target Jason then? He's going to target all three of them. Yeah, I, I think he's so. He's terrible to me. Do you think Sonny goes to jail? No. For what? We all think he's going to no. do something, right? We know Dante's exiting, so. He's going to have the same excuse as Heather Weber. 
He's been like <laughs> no meds. So he's not mental. It's not mentally his fault if he does I, anything bad. I couldn't help but think if only Willow was still a nurse, she might under she might figure out that the meds, even though he's taking them, are not actually working. As you know, Willow is distracted, G. Very distracted. And we'll get to that. <laughs> Alas, in a she has left nursing. <laughs> Do you think John <laughs> Brennan is the person that got rid of the evidence against Carly on the FBI? Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Malin, sure. do you have a motive there? Definitely. For why he did that? I think he's in love with her. I think he likes that her. That it's going to be like the new story that he's going to be around more and he's running the WSB and he loves Carly and there might be a hot new romance. I like that. I, I'm okay with it. How do you feel about it? I thought they had a little a little chemistry. He's got a great accent and he's got great personality. Accent's hot. He's like Jax. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, no. No, he reminds me, though, a little bit of an Alcazar type of character for her. Yeah, I agree. I have to say, I didn't expect to see him behind door number one to jail. Neither did I. No, gee. I did not expect that. Well, if if he still like wants to be Pikeman, maybe Pikeman, Jason, Sonny, they all work together. Pikeman's done illegally. You think Pikeman's done? Yeah, I think it was anticlimactic though. Like oh, I didn't really. Very. I agree. Like they built this all up, and now it's like just gone away with Anna's theory and Brendan being like, "Yep, okay, yeah." I go back to my original theory. It was too complicated to start. Yeah, this isn't for daytime soaps. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> I think if Holly is coming back and Lucky is co- oh. coming back, I don't think it's done. I think there's going to be something with those oh, two. Okay. All right, let's move on to top storyline, which is talking a little bit about the romances and hookups. Willow, Ava, Carly, Nina. Let's talk about Willow first. Every scene, it seems like she's checking out Drew. Yeah, well, he's half naked all the time. But she also looks like she's about to cry in every scene. Her (laughs) eyes are just always weepy Willow. I agree with Jame on that. It's enough for Do you think, Jame, she's going to have the full-on affair? No. I don't know because... Uh, Nina, I think it, they should. I would like that to happen. Yeah. I don't think they have the affair, but I think it all comes out and causes such a ruckus that they don't even get to like explore it. You think a kiss is going to be like so explosive? She can't handle the guilt is the problem. Well, I think Nina knows, Sasha knows. I think between the two of them, something happens and like, you know, Nina can't keep her mouth shut. She accidentally spills the beans and then everything goes awry. Gee, what if Michael overhears somebody talking about uh, Willow and then he has an affair? With Sasha, that's you keep wanting to put them back together. No, I don't think that happens. There's no one else single on the show, really. Is he related to Brooklyn? Mm, no. There you go. Now Brooklyn's going to have an affair. Not by blood, actually. Brooklyn is a quarter main. Yeah. So they're cousins? But why do you think that Michael's going to automatically have like revenge sex with, with somebody random? <laughs> well, we no. have a Michael trivia question coming up and he gets around too, guys. Yeah. But I don't know. He's lame. I don't know if they have an affair, but I think they're going to have sex. Like, I don't know if they're going to have a continuous one. And how you define an affair is... <laughs> Multiple. Multiple outings. Will Carly and Jason's relationship shift from being friends, soulmates to an actual couple? No. G? I don't actually think so, but I do feel like they're sort of setting that up. Could happen. Yeah. No. If Sonny does something to get put away, you don't think Carly and Jason I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. I agree. I think it's a possibility. No, John Brennan's going right for her. Maybe that sets up John Brennan versus Jason. Speaking of Carly, will she take the win and not try and dig in to find out who deleted the evidence? No, she can't help herself. She's going to find out. Also, Anna and Jason both know now so yeah it's not really a big secret jane do you foresee if john cates sticks around that him and ava could become a power couple i don't know i don't know what storyline now to make of ava because she's gonna go behind you bars. think she's gonna go behind bars well nicholas is there <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. That would be a there cute you go. prison, prison <laughs> He's affair. waiting for her. <laughs> they could meet in the library like um, Alexis and that guy. She yes, didn't do anything exactly. wrong, though. Ava? Christina tripped. Well, it, it's true. Christina tripped. No, yeah, she, but, she literally tripped she, over yeah. the back. They did a close-up of her feet. But she tripped the backwards beholder. because she was pulling herself from Ava's touch. Yeah, that's not Ava pushing her. No, but I bet you Brick's photos will look like she pushed her from his angle. Look, I 
don't know how both Jagger and Ava get out of the hole they're in with everyone in the whole town yeah. hating them. GH is going to have to pull something to bring both of these two. Jagger's got to get whacked. Her her wardrobe would have to go away if Ava goes to jail. She's blonde. She looks great in orange. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> she would look great oh. in orange. Or or denim, like the whole denim, like a denim jumper. Oh Throw that goodness. on her. <laughs> yeah. Does Ava and John's hookup help Sonny's custody case? I don't see how. Not even going to come to it. Yes, I do. Because the case between Jagger and Sonny is all out there and I think it'll look like the two of them are conspiring against Sonny. There's no custody case for a while. You don't think that Sonny will pursue it even it, hurt, it's harder? It's going to get delayed. The whole news is going to be Christina falling out the window. <laughs> That's true. Christina's like the one of the biggest witnesses against Sonny and she had to I give a deposition. That's all delayed. That's true. Oh yeah. Ava's in trouble. Is there any other right. violence that you think is going to come? Like how does Dante leave? Lulu wakes up, I yeah, thought. Yeah, but that's not a reason to leave. Well, then he has to go like help heal her back to her regular self. Something happens where Dante is taking a break from the show. So whether it's to go off and help Lulu or something, I don't know. Maybe it is to find Valentine or find John Brennan or Spencer. I think he gets shot. You think he he's not getting shot? That would be like the third time. <laughs> Yeah, he did just get shot. <laughs> it's his thing. No, he just got shot. That's He's true. Not getting shot. I think Anna sent him overseas on a mission. Of I some agree sort. with G. She's trying to get to the bottom of this John Brennan, Valentine, Pikeman, Carly situation. Maybe he sent to help Lucky because Lucky's working for the FBI, and then Lucky comes back. He and is. Dante doesn't. Why do we think Lucky's? Working How do we for the know FBI? that? Wasn't he in law enforcement, and that's why he left and was chasing somebody around Europe? Lucky. Is not in law enforcement. Yeah, he was. Lucky was a cop. Lucky was not a cop. Yes, he was a he cop. Was, no, no. He, there was something. He Lucky was a cop. Something where he told Maxie not to touch something. Luke's he, son was a cop. Yeah, maybe. That actually sounds right to me. I think so. And Luke, I think, got mad at him yeah. for it. Yeah, because Luke doesn't do cops. Right. That's right. So- there's a lot of people making appearances or coming back. I don't know for how long. Like Lucky, Lulu, everything's all connected. I'm not saying Lulu's coming back, but they got to bring, I think Lucky comes back for Lulu. I don't know, but Lucky's coming back. Morgan's making hallucination. Kiki's making an hallucination. I didn't hear that. Um, is that right? Yeah, Kiki's I didn't coming hear for that. an appearance too. Where is everybody getting this gossip oh, from? That's I what love I'm. Kiki. I don't know about the Kiki. James, where, where's your vault? Because none of us have seen what's inside. Where does James think she knows this from? My vault <laughs> is ever since starting this podcast. My Facebook is flooded with G. Yeah, they're not real. <laughs> yes. mine, mine is too, but they're fake. Some of them are because if you search then the topic off that site, I see it. I would verify your sources. I also get good flashbacks sent to me too now. Oh. <laughs> One question I have unrelated to getting to some of the kids. Is there a chance that Gio is um, Sonny's son? <laughs> and why do you say that, T? Because he, he keeps everything. paying for everything. And I was like, did you no. read that somewhere? Maybe I did not read that. Wait, but there okay. was an, but there was an explanation given when Gio first came back that Sonny pays well, for Gio. They've talked about it like five times. Because his father was in the military. But gee, they talk him. about it all the time. And Sonny then confronted him. You don't want money from me. I was like, why does he care? Like, it just struck me as weird. Well, Sonny just he, had a fight with Sonny's Lois. Sonny's just That's angry true. right now. But I think... I know. That made Sonny me sad. has so many kids. If it's Sonny, if it's Sonny, <laughs> Lois is in on it. <laughs> it does. It does. Oh, wow. That would be weird. So again, T, one of my crazy little GH yeah. spoiler theories on Facebook is that Gio is Sonny and Lois's child. No, because that can't be because well, Lois they're lying, said they're lying. I mean, is it Lois's sister? She told a whole story. She told a That's whole true. story. I didn't think he was Lois's. <laughs> then he would have, he would have darker hair. He would have darker hair. Really? I mine mean, changes even. every four <laughs> weeks. I don't think it is that anyway, only because the time and age. No, the age doesn't match up anyway, but that was what someone had said. What about, what about, Bre what about Brenda? Did they ever have a kid? She didn't. No. 
Oh, uh, no. that was a little she before Brenda me. Brenda did have a son. Uh, Who what did happened she to Jax? Oh my God. I'd have to, I have to look this up. I don't know. Brenda, when Brenda was in Italy, she had a son. With who? But Brenda wasn't from Bensonhurst. No. No, but she Brenda, and Lois were besties. So what circumstances would she send That's her but son But who was her, who was the dad? I don't remember, but I do think, oh, I, I don't know if I'm confusing it with a different <laughs> show now. We're old. <laughs> Memories are fading. <laughs> How many general hospital shows do you watch? <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit about Sunny. How long do you think before the med stuff gets resolved? Because I'm really yeah. tired of it. Not that long, yeah. I don't That's think. That's got to happen soon, soon, right? He's losing I think it's it. Happen Gee, soon. when it yeah. is resolved, is he instantly back to old Sunny? Like, does he forgive Jason? Forgive. He has to be forgiven. I think it's going to take a bit, yeah. but you know, they figure it out. He gets back on his meds. He goes to court a bit and then they all live happily. Ever Does after. he end up back with Carly? <laughs> no. Oh. oh, well that would be interesting if Brennan is pursuing Carly, but then Sonny and Carly start to get back together. That would be good. I don't think it will be for a really long time. They have to develop her and Brennan. Oh, she's definitely going back to him. And last question on returning characters, Rick. <gasps> so excited. I'm excited for him. He has to come back because he has to help Molly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe Molly doesn't need help since the baby carrier just went through a window. Oh, she's going to. <laughs> no, I think the baby lives. The baby lives. He's coming for two reasons, to help Molly get her baby, and Elizabeth needs a love interest. <laughs> oh, I was going to think maybe they put her back with him back with Alexis. I thought the same thing, mm, Alexis. Not sure about that one. But I think he could come back for a death, not just uh, a court case. Molly. But then who dies? It wouldn't be Alexis, it wouldn't be Molly. Oh, old Molly just got out of prison, though. They have to leave room for old Molly to come back. Hey, listen, I've seen um, community service on GH, so <laughs> they could write it in and they could stage some scenes on actual 405 Highway in LA. Picking up dirt? Yeah. And it would be two birds type of situation. Uh, okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's talk pet peeves and props. I have a consistent peeve with the Drew storyline. <laughs> There's just nowhere to go there. Is it Drew? <laughs> is is that the it's best everything? Piece? It's the Drew. It's Drew. It's the election. It's the Nina and the Willow. Where to start? The spray tan. <laughs> Maybe Nina and Rick Weber. Rick Lansing. He he's in jail. Rick Lansing. <laughs> Who's Rick Weber? Oh. <laughs> He's old school. Rick Lansing and Nina would be good. Or Ava. Oh, Ava and Rick Lansing? I could see that, actually. Why not? He's an attorney. She's going to need him probably three. I don't remember when Rick left if he was in good with Sonny or hated Sonny. I think they hated each other. I think it's combative. Okay. It's been so Then long. I could see him with Ava. I have a prop. I think all of Jason's scenes with Anna... And Carly and especially Danny, I thought they were great. I will I agree. Jason's scenes with Danny have been amazing. He and Danny have way more father-son chemistry than he and Jake. Yes. I agree. So this is a prediction prop. If they do drop the Heather Weber uh getting out of jail story, that is a huge prop for me because I didn't like I it. I think they did. <laughs> I think it's over. So then if that's a huge prop, then the peeve is that it's currently a story. Well, it hasn't been for like a couple of weeks. I have appreciated how Alexis mediated between her two daughters. Yeah. I disagree. Was... You do, oh, really? James? Yeah. Why, James? I really think Alexis is smarter than this and she knows her daughters and she knows Christina wants to keep this baby and she's she's enabling her. You think she's enabling her? Oh, I disagree. Yeah. I think Alexis should have said to Christina when Molly gave her the papers to sign, you were supposed to sign them anyway. What does it matter when? This is not your baby. She did say no, that. she didn't really say that. I, I say send her back to the <laughs> cult, Jame. Let's get her back no. into the dawn of the day. I was disappointed with her with that. <laughs> She's enabling Christina. And by the way, they've all enabled Christina so long, the whole entire time Christina's been born, which is maybe why Christina doesn't know what Sunny does for a living. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Any other peeves or props? I mean, I really, I I like Jagger. I do too. I didn't think I was going to, but I don't mind him. I like not liking I him. I wish they oh, gave no. him better stuff, but I don't mind him. I think they need more enemies. I don't know. They need more men for these women. Oh, but you guys have Cody. 
for his one out of ten scenes. I, I haven't they seen They do enough. need more men. They need more <laughs> but men. I think stuck in the barn with, with no <laughs> AC. <laughs> All right, should we go to some trivia, guys? Oh, yeah. Yes, please. We're ready for some General Hospital Admittedly Fans trivia. Okay, I think that you will get these all in a very expedited fashion because I found the questions in a very expedited fashion. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, question number one, General Hospital Admittedly Fans trivia. Which handsome General Hospital actor starred opposite the late James Gandolfini, Mark Ruffalo, and Robert Redford in a major Hollywood film. Hmm. John Stamos. No. (laughs) I'll give you a hint. It was an escape from prison movie. Robert Redford and James Gandolfini. Oh, something with that um, San Francisco place. Alcatraz. James (laughs) Gandolfini. Yeah, it was Alcatraz. (laughs) (laughs) That's what they refer to it on the tourism map. San Francisco place. (laughs) <laughs> That's the only Robert Redford and James Gandolfini movie I know where they're James together. James Gandolfini was a warden and Robert Redford was a general turned inmate. Oh, it was that like war kind Here's, of movie. Oh, it's a war movie? No, it was not a war it movie. It wasn't this. No, I just said it was a prison was movie. The Rock? Why would you think it's a war Was movie? it like The Rock? Was the movie The Rock or something? James, if this movie had a twin brother, the twin brother would be The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> This is the log line. A court-martialed general rallies together 1,200 inmates to rise against a corrupt and sadistic warden. This GH character played the warden's right-hand man and was in many scenes with James. Is it a current GH character? Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Sonny. (laughs) No. You think Sonny could play the right-hand man of a warden? No. No, I do not either. I do not. (laughs) But who is a good right-hand man? I mean, Jason Morgan, obviously. I don't even know. Jason Morgan, yes! He was in a movie? He was in a motion motion picture? Steve Burton played Captain Perez in The Last the, Castle. Did I say something a- with the castle? Oh, the Last Castle. The Last Castle. You said The Rock. You said she The Rock. She was close. She was close. I did before I said Alcatraz. I said some castle. You said that San Francisco place. You did it. You said rock. I did not know that Steve Burton was in a major no, movie. Did I. I didn't know he was in that. But I know what movie you're talking about. I have to rewatch it now. And where does the last castle take place? Not Alcatraz. <laughs> it isn't? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It might have been Alcatraz. I didn't go deep on that one. <laughs> In 2013, after returning to General Hospital following a stint on the show Port Charles, Lucy Coe finds herself on trial with Alexis Davis by her side, defending her as not guilty by reason of insanity. What did Lucy Coe do to get sentenced to Ferncliff by the jury? And who did she do it to? Oh, man. That's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for bringing a Lucy Coe question we asked you last yeah. time. <laughs> what did she do? Wow. Oh, my goodness. I do remember when she went to Ferncliff, but i that's all I remember. Yeah. We need more ginseng. Yeah. She physically assaulted someone. Who did she do what I to? I don't. I'd love to see her in her jumpsuit. Did she assault? Bobby? No, she did not. Because that would make sense. I'll give you a hint. (laughs) The person she assaulted was seeing Sam Morgan at the time. Hmm. I don't know. Who did Sam date when Jason disappeared? Drew. No. Oh. Um, I don't know. Malin? I have no idea. Jax? In January 2013, Lucy had an encounter in Kelly Bobby's with John (laughs) McBain and Sam Morgan, mistaking them for the former Port Charles character Caleb Morley and Libby Locke. Believing John McCain was Caleb, she she took... She took... She took... John McCain. (laughs) McBain. Who is John McCain? McBain! (laughs) 
I don't know who you're talking about. John McBain. He was played by Michael Easton. <laughs> Do you know that Michael Easton had what? three different, ca- four different characters in Port Charles? I do because you told us. Yes. You did, but John I don't know. John McBain was a police officer originally in One Life to Live. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then he joined General Hospital <laughs> and him and Sam McCall ended up becoming a couple. Oh, I must have taken a vacation <laughs> then. Lucy stabbed John McBain. Lucy encountered John McBain and Sam having lunch at Kelly's diner, mistaking him for a vampire killer. She took a broken chair and stabbed him. Okay, this is why they don't know that. (laughs) You lost me at vampire killer. (laughs) I know. So the show Port Charles took on a real bad jump the shark moment. Um, yes. when it no longer started to be like an actual subsidiary of GH and became like Buffy the Vampire meets Port Charles. Which is why you watched it, Jane. No, I didn't. I didn't watch Port Charles. I thought it was stupid. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's why I was worried, <laughs> worried about that question. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three. Willow Tate Reeves Quartermain could use a little fatherly advice. Who is Willow's father? And for a bonus question, who killed him? Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm watching a different show. Some dude. And um, the the killer of him is the guy that ran the cult. Shiloh. Yeah, exactly. Shiloh. No, the answer is not oh. Shiloh. I'll give you a hint. Nina Reeves ex-husband. I don't know who that is. I, I, that means nothing to me. Who's Willow's mother? No, I get that, but we don't know. Who. Nina, but I don't know who she was ever married to. Yes, you do. It was a whole storyline. It was? Yeah. And he was played by John Easton. Oh my God. Are you serious? <laughs> who is? Yes. He had another character there? I have no idea. Yes. No, that's yes. Michael Easton. You guys are confusing everything. <laughs> I thought Willow's father was like some guy in the cult on the commune. It is Michael Easton. He's confusing his The person that killed this character is Malin's favorite. Ava. Carly? Carly's your favorite? No. Well, then who's Malin's favorite? Those are her two favorite people. The answer is Willow's father is Dr. Silas Clay. And the person that killed her is none other than Donna Mills and Madeline Reeves. This was challenging. Oh, the mom of Nina. Right. I do love Donna Mills. I do love her. But you were a little confusing there. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. I, yeah. It's very, very confusing. It's not her fault. Michael Easton played like five characters. He absolutely did. I think I was on vacation during the Silas Clay part. Okay. Question four. Who played Britt Westbourne's best friend? Who was he married to? Why did he go to jail? And for a bonus question, what was Britt's nickname Brad. in the hospital? Brad Wu. Brad, whatever. Brad, Brad the nurse. Brad what? He's Selena Wu's nephew. Oh, Brad Wu. Mrs. <laughs> Wu's. Yes, the nurse. Right. Brad the nurse. <laughs> it was not Brad Wu. <laughs> he has an American name. You got... Come on. Okay, Brad was married to Lucas. Lucas Spencer. Lucas Jones. Lucas Jones. Sorry, sorry. Lucas Jones. Brad switched the babies with that psycho. Who? And he got busted. Uh, Nina's other daughter, the one that fell off the cliff. Rhymes with fell. No. <laughs> no. 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 So Brad went to jail for that because he got busted. Yes, Brad Cooper. How would I know that? He's the nurse. He's Brad the nurse. That's all we knew. He's Brad the nurse and nephew of Mrs. Wu. (laughs) You got it. Now, what was Britt's nickname at the hospital? The witch. What would be a nickname if they thought of her that way? I was going to say that, James. Bitch. The bitch? Maybe add another letter to her name. Mrs. Bitch? Dr. Bitch? No. Oh, Britch. Britch. (laughs) Britch is the answer. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Dr. Bitch. <laughs> that's a terrible <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> and that's a curse, Malin. You know I wouldn't uh, allow that. You have to do one an episode. You have to yeah, do one You just an did. Episode. You okay. did it twice, but okay. yeah. His name was Brad Cooper. He was married to Lucas Jones. He went to jail after Sonny forced him to plead guilty for kidnapping his grandson, Wiley. Okay, question number five. I know we joke about Scotty getting around, but how about Michael Corinthos? 
How many love interests of Michael can you name? Willow, Nell, Sasha. Kiki. Mm-hmm. Kiki. He had someone before Kiki. Two people before Kiki. One came over from one of your other shows, James, with the last name Manning. Well, Kiki came from the other show. Oh, Todd Manning something? Uh, yes. Yeah. Star. Star Manning. But she's Kiki. Star Manning. Oh, nice one, James. Did she come to the show as Star? Yeah. Oh, wow. They're so confusing. GH has made multiple characters I know. of the same person. Like, I can't keep up. I looked it up, and oh, okay. it took me to AMC and bounced me around. And then he around. had someone before Star Manning. Yeah. I don't know who. Yeah, remember he was hooked up with somebody oh. after he came out of prison? Oh. Because of, yeah. Sam mm-hmm. introduced him to somebody to help him through. I don't remember. I, I can see it, but I don't know who. She was a stripper. <laughs> yes. Really? Because Michael was having like very bad PTSD from prison. Yes. Oh, and she died when know. a crane dumped a pile of dirt on her. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she did. <laughs> Only on the soaps. Yeah, her name was Abby Haver, and she was known as Candy the Stripper. <laughs> I can't even picture her. Abby Haver, and then they were dating, and she was studying, and they became really close. And big bulldozer dumped dirt on her. And she was injured and died at the what hospital. What a way to go in Port Charles. Yeah. Talk about dirty, dirty death. <laughs> <laughs> dirty death. All right, guys. That was question number five. Wow. The hard trivia today. These were really hard. Yeah. I thought they'd be easy. Yeah, you I'm thought like, we were going to get them. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you to everyone listening at home. General Hospital Admittedly Fans is on each month. If you want to be a guest on an upcoming show, click on the contact information in the show notes.